Guam's local community got a first-hand look at the operations and capabilities of the Guam National Guard during an open house at the Readiness Center in Barragata, October 26. Major General Esther Agagi, the Adjutant General, kicked off the event and welcomed everyone to the Readiness Center to learn more about the National Guard. We have so many capabilities that it's probably a, a good time to open our doors to the community and to the public and to just showcase, you know, all the wonderful things that are happening here in the Guam National Guard. And we're all about taking care of our island and our nation. And if the community knew what the Guam Guard was all about, then it would, uh, it would help us uh, promote our bumper sticker that the Guard is good for Guam. The open house featured static displays from the Air and Army National Guard, booths from local arts and craft vendors, food trucks, and a career symposium. What we're trying to do is provide a service to our veterans um, who give so much to their, our island and our nation. Basically, opportunities for what, what's after the military service. Learning that uh, the National Guard has the highest veterans population here in Guam. So it seemed like a really good fit for us for our very first event to partner with the Guam National Guard. Basically, they come with a certain set of skills that is, is, could be used uh, for many different companies out in the workforce. And so really what we're wanting to do is just trying to find those that pairing from um, what they've learned in the Guard and what their skill sets are and, and what kind of opportunities out in the workforce that they could easily make that transition. Though the open house was the first of its kind for the Guard, Agagi says the public has more to look forward to in the future. I'd like to add that this open house has opened our eyes and opened our doors to the community. I can tell you now it's not going to be our last. For the Guam National Guard, I'm Joanna Dolphin.